here, Call Me 101. Your PJ's Xbox Team and Teeth Boy is right here. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do a Slice and Dice and Shredder. Um, I've been looking everywhere for this damn toy. I'm sorry, but it's it just been forever since I found this toy. God, I try to go to the store, at Target, or at Play World. This is what it used to be before Toys R Us came along. I can never find it. And when I find it in the package, somebody buys it, or a friend buys it, and I can't play with it because it's our special toy. Huh. But now I have my own, my own copy. Now, like I said, I know he's not complete, but he will later on in the future, and I will make another review on how he's supposed to look. And, um, I got this at the Fire's Corner. I'm pretty sure you see a lot of my posts about them, and their banner that I made for them also, to their, you know, um, their locations and their time, what time they're open and closed. Also, it's on my NMI reviews on all of them, so Fire's Corner, check them out. They have some really cool stuff. Not only that, let's say you call them up and say, hey, do you have this toy? I guarantee they're going to find it for you. And if, if you found a toy that, in there that's not complete, well, you got to be patient. And they will find the full set, complete it, and then give it to you or sell it to you. Um, the, people's really, the people is like really nice there, and they're so cool. And, uh, and if they weren't, I wouldn't be going because you know, nobody does like mean and rude people. So these people are really cool. I like him a lot, and he has some cool choices. Not just turtles, but you know, X Men, anime. Uh, what else I see? Um, he Man, Ghostbusters. I mean, the list just goes on. They have a lot of good stuff, and this is also is inside of a swamp meet. So they have their own place, their own little building. They have all the stuff inside of it. And when you go on to find them, you walk through there, you'll see the giant Ninja Turtles. Like I think it was, he had a uh, Donatello and Michelangelo up on top of their sign right there so you can see what they have there. It's like, oh, turtles up there, so you know they're turtle friendly. So check them out. Look through their website. Uh, they have our uh, Facebook. They have on their push flag, and they'll get all the information out. They do a lot of fun stuff. It's really cool people. Um, but yeah, anyways, I, <laughs> ah, I saw this, and I just got to get it. Like I said, I've been looking forever. Um, it's old, I know, and, uh, it is really cool. I don't know how my jacket because this is my girlfriend's Jeep. <laughs> um, so yeah, I uh, was gonna say, yeah. So we're gonna do some old school uh, review here. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're looking at it like, what the heck is that? And it looks like a blooper, or not blooper, a bootleg. Like as if you know, it looks like it's made by someone else. But believe it or not, this is the first uh, line of toy. As you can see right here, the first Wino toy from Ninja Turtles, uh, for the villain, I should say. I already did, uh, actually I did a Leonardo one also way back in a review. So I'll put the link underneath that so you can check out Leonardo. I do have Michelangelo. He's actually complete if you think about it. But of course, once again, he's not here. He's back home in Colorado. Wah, wah, wah. And, um... I have Raphael, I don't have his belt, I have some of his weapons, but I don't have his belt, I had to look for it, I know it's here, alright, enough of me and Black Rain, let's do the review, alright, so here he is, on top of my little Bible looking thing, this is the Shredder, Slicing Dyson Shredder, now, I don't know why they didn't make him have a shirt, because i never seen a nigga swear my, or a shredder in my life. Yeah. Like I said, I need some more pieces for him. I need more, another spike to put right there. His uh, armor that spins. Of course, the claws. Can't have a claws without shredder. I mean, he looks like a more ripped than the original 1988 um, shredder, because he's all skinny, and now this is all big. Like I said, he looks a lot clearer like this. And of course, his face. Like I said, it looks like a bootleg, but it's not, people. Actually, let me just show it to you. What's oh, there it is. Uh, 1990 Mortgage Studio Playmates Toys. See, so it's real. I look underneath here, and it says Bob. So, Bob, if you're watching, you know, I'm taking good care of your toy. I'm... I'll be kind of cool if he is on my page. Anyways, so yes. This is a wind up, this is a machine that winds up the, his spike spinning around a circle. 
doesn't do it right here on his on his arm or his hand, I should say. Just his uh, shoulder and his um, biceps part. Of course, this is the wind up right here. Hey, look at my PJs. <clears throat> of course, the back piece. The helmet looks really cool. I like that metal kind of look to it that she put on there. Instead of blue. Alright, so about this uh, toy. Now, some people call it rare, some people call, don't call it rare. Um, the Slice and Dice uh, Shredder. Uh, the only one there is is a 1990, so they never made a 10th anniversary out of them or anything like that, so... As far as I know, this is what I got, as far as what I've seen. Um, I have remember seeing him somewhere that was like $15 in a box. But, he, well, out of a box, it's like $10, believe it or not. But, um... Yeah, I want to call this one rare because I really haven't seen anything like this for a long time. The paint is fantastic. I love how they put the color together. Uh, of course, you always have the red shirt in the comic books. That's what they're aiming for. The blue one looks kind of cool. I think this looks cool. It's not bad. Um... Sorry, I've been having problems breathing lately. <coughs> so, uh, yeah. Tell me what you guys think. I mean, I know he's like, some people don't like it because he looks cheesy, but come on, this is this is old school. This is like back in our times. Oh, and then everything, you can't put his arm down. He had to put it all the way around him to go to the bottom, like this. Like, like that. And now you see. So, the arm moves. Even with the machine thing in his arms. As you can see. Of course, at the hand. Moves. Same thing with the other one. The legs moves, of course. As you can see. However, um, let's see. I don't know if you can see this or not, but uh, the the metal piece that winds it up is rusty. Uh, who I guess Bob or whoever you originally really ordered didn't take good care of him. But uh, yeah, he doesn't wind up as very much as uh, he's supposed to be due to the rust right there. There you go. I don't know if you can see that. But um, I still want to give him a good home. Uh, yeah, like I said, put your comments down. What do you guys think about this? You guys even had this when you were a kid, or maybe you just bought it, or uh, didn't even know it even even exists. Um, like I said, I'll put Leonardo review on the bottom of this one, or this of the this video, I should say. Um, luckily, his cape is actually built in, as far as I know. Unless there's more stuff I don't know about. But yeah, I've been hunting hunting down slice and, slice and dice uh, shredder for. A so many years, and now I finally own one, and it feels great. Seriously, if you've been looking for something for so long, I promise you, you're, you're going to find them soon, very soon. Look at that metallic paint job. Um, so what else? I guarantee someone on my page is going to be like, I oh, like it looks kind of cheesy and it's cheap looking, but you know. That's cool, that's your opinion, that's cool, don't worry. But I like it, I like this a lot. And I want to say thank you to uh, Fighters Corners for um, actually having this there. And soon I will do the review on the store. So check it out soon or later, I will post it out. Um, I haven't started filming yet, but I will. And I hope you all guys go ahead and go down here and check it out. I mean seriously, check it out. Helps with support, man. And his head moves too. I haven't seen that one. It's like, <laughs> oh, so old. So that's my little review. You gotta have this. I mean, it's part of a history right here. Seriously, I don't care if you don't like it or not, because it looks so cheap. But no, it's it's actually really cool. It's um part of the wind up, original wind up toys that made a move. Uh, Shredder's. I know Shredder was a big hit because come on, I can never find it in stores. Get them to add them to your collection, people. Seriously, this is really cool. The part of history of TMNT uh, toys 
Playmates, toys, whatever, uh, history. I mean, I don't know much I could say, but that. Um, yeah, so put your comments down, tell me what you think. And I will have to say, good luck out there for finding one of these, and happy hunting, everybody. See you later. Alright, it's eBay time. I got curious. Here's the Slice and Dice and original shredder. It's still in its package. That thing's punched through. So, okay. Um, there's weapons and everything. This dude is selling it for $115. Red Star, of course. And, uh, da -da, $10 for shipping. What the hell? Why does somebody do that? They, they charge so much for the price. But hey, let's charge more for the shipping. Yay! I don't know. I mean, he is rare. I'll admit that. Uh, hang on, let's see if there's any other weird stuff. Okay, we got a four. Well, for this, right here, here is a villain. Okay, we found a villain. Okay, for Shredder, who's all scratched up, no weapons on him, so whatsoever. I think a spike on his ankle. This guy is asking for twenty dollars. What a douche! Black man. Be reasonable. Reasonable. Wait, wait. How much is for shipping? Oh, I just had it. Six dollars for shipping. Wow, that's not bad for six, I guess. But twenty bucks for something that not even in good shape. And no, uh, it's not even complete. Why do people do this stuff? Stay away from these evil people. Alright, put your comments down. Tell me what you guys think about all this.